Hi Frugal friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Frugal Joe. Um, today we are going to tackle this garage where I have piled up boxes that I bring home from work. And so we're, I gotta break them down. I've been leaving them up here piled up and it's time to break them down. And I'm gonna show you also, um, you know, some of the thrifted items that I've thrifted for resale and I have out here piled up in boxes. So let me turn you around and I'll show you. Here are all the boxes that I need to tear down. And you know, other things that I store in my garage. And all of these clothes, most of which I've done a, a garage sale for. So I might just bundle them up and lot them up and list them on Facebook Marketplace for one chunk of a price and let somebody else come gather them up. But right now, like I said, this is what I'm going to tackle. I'm going to take these boxes and I'm going to break them down and try to make some room here in the middle of this garage. All right, time to get to work. cardboard that I like to use. I think it's good for, you know, packaging items. Okay. I'll just, here we go. Oh, another one. Oh, I'm doing the garbage bag. So here's our progress. I think I might have made a little dent here in the middle of the garage. Yep, I'm trying to put all my boxes together. I've got, you know, pieces of cardboard that I, uh, I can use in helping with packaging and shipping right there. And then I've got these two big boxes full of broken down boxes. And yeah, that's my my eBay items. Um, yeah, so we're gonna keep on at it. We gotta tackle this pile right here. So it almost feels like I cleared out this, made some progress here in that middle, and then I feel like we've transitioned shifted just to this side and now have another side <laughs> of stuff to still put together and get organized. Hey, Google friends. Okay. So uh, this is going to be the end of today's cleanup of the garage. Um, and I am coming out here at the end of the night to get an item that sold on eBay so I can get it shipped out along with the Funko Pop minis that sold as well. So I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna find the item. Okay. Now, no, I left here. I know these are all boxes of uh, stuff that I still need to get straightened up. Here's a box I just didn't want to, I don't know, the size of it didn't seem right to um, break it down. 
look at this box I have here. I have a bunch of um, <laughs> some styrofoam. So that that would be good for some styrofoam. That would be good for shipping. And here we have some crates of a vintage crafting books that I picked up. These are only two of them. There's another box, the crate, but I had gotten all three of those crates for $5. Anyway, okay, let's get back over here because the item that I need to find is over here. Okay, there it is. This is a McCoy pottery piece. That's a little bright. Let me set it over here. Um, and it is really a um, mustard colored green, uh, mustard colored green, green. Good grief. You know, I jumble up my words. Y'all can go back and watch my videos and take a drink for every time. <laughs> Play that game with you, Night Shifters, huh? Yeah, maybe not the Night Shifters, but uh, <laughs> this is a mustard uh, green. Oh, my Lord, a mustard yellow color here. Uh, let's see, for $33, and I got an offer of $25, and I accepted an offer, or I counted offer $28. And that's what we're selling it for. And this came in a lot of box, a box lot that I had gone out. <sighs> Probably was a resell and paid $15 for the box. And so um, I've sold a few things out of it already. So, you know, this is right here. This is going to be strictly profit. So not a bad deal. Oh, i got to give you a sneak peek. Look at that. Uh, look at that. There's some sneak peeks, guys, because, you know, um, I told you I have a, a collection of punch bowl. This is actually, I was told by an antique uh, vendor that this was the eggnog um, bowl. It was an eggnog punch bowl. Do I want to say punch bowl? but an eggnog punch bowl. And so these have the little handles right there that hang off the side of the punch bowl. It's like that. Gorgeous. Hyrex dishes. Some milk glasses. Some rubber stamps. I think I showed those to you guys in a video. There's that Gibson that sells pretty well. Have some of those vintage Christmas guys I showed you. This one, with the velvet inside of it. And I think that'll wrap it up, guys. Oh, look at this witch. Look at that witch. And look at the rest of the boxes. I'm still getting organized, but I got a lot of them broken down. And I made a couple of sales today. I don't know. I'll mix it up to four or five sales this week. So I'm going to try to keep getting things listed and try to keep going. And if you uh, want to join and then uh, subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it very much. And then we can continue going through the rest of this pile. Of <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to call it a dead pile. Ah. I don't want to call it that. It's going to get listed. It's going to get sold. Slowly but surely, it'll get sold. And uh, I hope you guys will continue to watch the videos and give me a thumbs up and give me a like. And, and I have a, a Facebook group, Nostalgic at Heart. Come and join that. And let's share together all those things that... Uh, those things of old that we enjoy to to share and we enjoy to have in our lives. So that's the end of a long day, friends. And I will continue to make the rest of some videos of getting that garage straightened out, all my eBay boxing straightened out, and, and keep you updated. Bye.